What's up you guys? I hope you're doing great. So today is my 30th day of Row Accutane. If you don't know what that is, it is a vitamin A derivative in a pill form that you take and it helps reduce the oils produced by oil glands. So that means bye-bye acne forever. Yes, so this is my one month update. I'll also be sharing with you guys some of the products that I'm using while on it. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and like the video because that helps me a lot. So yeah, so I don't have persistent cystic acne per se, but I do get a few breakouts here and there, especially around that time of the month. I mean, hello, I'm not wearing any foundation. That's why I look like this. I wanted you guys to see everything up close but what I do struggle with I get um, bumps all over tiny big on their, on my foreheads on my cheeks my chin black heads white heads and I I end up picking up my skin almost every day it might not be a big deal for you guys but it is for me because it has been so frustrating and it has been a struggle and insecurity of mine for years so I'm about done and over it at this point so accutane it is so although it is a miraculous drug for us oily girls and people with severe acne in general it is pretty serious and it has some serious side effects and the main one is that if you are trying to have a baby you should avoid this uh, medicine completely because most likely the baby will have birth defects other than that, if you're trying to go on it, you should check with the, your dermatologist. He or she, no discrimination, will give you, will send you for a blood test to check if your kidneys are okay. And once everything is fine, they'll give you the go ahead and you can start on it. Depending on your skin and your health condition, they will decide what is best, like the dosage, how to start, and when to increase. It comes in this box. And it cost a little over 8,000 shillings. That is about over $80. Yeah, it's not, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. For me, I've been on 20 MGs for about a month now. Um, it's a pretty low dose, but I think there's 10 MGs as well. Um, I'm gonna keep on 20 for another two months, check with the doctor and then uh, update you guys. But so far, so good. I unfortunately, I don't have any images from before, but I do have some screenshots that I've taken about 15 days after I started acutane. Whatever was under my skin, all the gunk was coming up to a head. I uh, had a few pimples here and there, black heads, white heads. My nose was so dry, it felt like sandpaper makes it worse the fact that you cannot scrub your skin while you're on Accutane but I had to do it that day because it was just too much also my lips were dry so as of right now my forehead oh, that's too close but it's okay we're friends right now my forehead is cleared up I think I don't have any more bumps um, my pimples are healing um, I still have a few bumps under I don't know if you can see but hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully they'll go away as well. My lips, three days ago, they were so dry. I woke up and they're bleeding, literally. So I had to switch. Let me show you guys. So before I used to use this Aquaphor lip repair balm um, during the day. And then I would use this Laneige lip sleeping mask. And it was okay, but... As the time progressed, it wasn't enough. It was just so bad. So I switched to Medela Lanning Cream. This is a nipple cream. I mean, it makes sense. If it can heal bleeding nipples, this can do wonders to your lips. So I've tried this. It is great. So I do have a feeling that I might not need the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask anymore because this is enough. And it's very thick, but when I warm it up, on my fingers then I put it's it feels like a mask and for my cleanser I'm using this glam glow bumblebee gentle moisturizing cleanser that's a long name but it is great I've tried this I've received in a boxy charm and I'm so happy to get because I needed a good cleanser 
because I just ran out of my purity one and it doesn't have any active ingredients, any AHAs, BHAs, all those are no while on Accutane. You don't need any drying ingredients that would make it worse for your dry skin. Then after I cleanse, I follow up with this toner from Origin. This is a moisturizing toner and I love it. I had it from before. Then um, I'm using this Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I actually have other products that I'm switching in between because I'm checking what's working with my skin right now because it changed completely and I also want to get the um, Maybelline Hydro Boost. I'll insert a picture somewhere here. Yeah, the Hydro Boost from Neutrogena because I've had it. I know it's great. It's not oily and it has hyaluronic acid. For my moisturizer, I'm using the You to the People Super Berry. Uh, overnight mask. Actually, have two. They're small travel size. So I do leave it on at night time. But during the day, I also use the hyaluronic acid. But since my skin is super, super, super sensitive, guys, you cannot risk it. While on Accutane, you have to put sunscreen religiously. So I'm using the Super Goop um, Everyday Sunscreen. This is a, a SPF 50, and it doesn't leave any residue on your skin. I also use it for my hands while driving. It is a must. And since I wear uh, contact lenses, I also got this lubricant for the eyes just to make sure they are hydrated and all that. So I've watched many YouTube videos and I've seen so many people with different side effects. So I was taken back and I kind of, I was prepared for the worst. But luckily, apart from getting headaches for the first five days, I did not get anything else. I didn't get joint pains, no nosebleeds, no mental health issues. Thank God for that. No uh, hair loss. So everything is great so far. I don't know if it's because I'm taking a very low dose. I mean, compared to other people who have been taking 80 milligrams a day. So maybe that, it, that has to do with it. Maybe it's not. I'm okay. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.